According to the Ontario government, Hamilton is among a few other public health units with a low vaccination rate, where 82% of the eligible population is fully vaccinated, compared to 85% province-wide. And with the latest new data, Karen Bourne from the Ontario Science Advisory Table says COVID-19 remains highly inequitable in the province. We do see that the people who are in ICU and in hospital are from lower income groups, they're essential workers, many of them are from racialized populations. So it's really important to have an equity lens, uh, you know, to build trust so that these people do go and get vaccinated. Dr. Bram Roshwarg agrees that it's something he's consistently seeing in ICUs in Hamilton. It is unfortunate. I think it comes down to health literacy, it comes down to access to vaccinations, access to health care, um, uh, targeted approaches around vaccinations. And this tends to be a, a, a sometimes a community that's harder to reach. And we have to come up with novel strategies. Emil Joseph from McMaster University says the reason for the inequity isn't always vaccine hesitancy. When we undervalue the voices of, uh, you know, the marginalized, the people who are most affected, by some of these disproportionalities and inequities and we don't listen to their recommendations for structural change and systemic change you your end result will be more inequity uh, and i think that's what we're seeing right now this map on the city of hamilton's website shows the percentage of those who are fully vaccinated in different hamilton neighborhoods the areas that are light green have lower vaccine rates and the gray areas are the absolute lowest one of those locations is the Beasley Park neighborhood. Right here behind me is Rebecca Towers, which is in the same area. Earlier this year, they experienced an outbreak that caused community outrage because of the lack of access to vaccines at the time. Joseph says it's a high rise building with racialized people, low income people and people with disabilities. It wasn't the case that it was the outbreak itself that triggered uh, an, an immediate response. And I think that example is very telling in that it, it's often in response to community outrage for the lack of attention to marginalized groups and those most hardest hit uh, by COVID-19 in terms of infection and hardest hit in terms of inequity in terms of uh, vaccination that you know we, we, we don't really uh, prioritize the knowledge that we have until you know, some of these groups speak out. And even then, we're not adequately listening to their asks. In terms of what needs to be done, Joseph says the city needs to listen to community agencies and organizations about their needs. He says that includes changes to the composition of public health. We reached out to the city for comment, but we were told no one was available to speak with us today.